Manny MUA not disclosing ads properly, let's talk about it. What's going on guys, it's Rich Lush with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. All right, so on this quiet winter evening, I wanted to talk about so many people are saying that Manny MUA didn't do it right, that he did not disclose properly. So, you know, he did this video, I have it here on my phone, it's called Amazon Holiday Must Haves. And honestly, I watched the video, and there was like maybe one thing I was like, oh, okay, I think I could pick that up. But a lot of it was just kind of like, mm, I've seen it on Laura Lee's channel before or something. And I was just like, okay, I just watched Laura Lee for all the things. He keeps referencing her so much. So I just watched Laura Lee. So anyways, in the video, he would pick up some item, items and he would talk about it. By the way, this is Juvia's Place Lipstick. I love this one so much. Shade Mademoiselle, not sponsored, although I should be. I like this one. So in the video, he's talking about some of his you know, Amazon must haves. And I get the gig, like so many people will do these videos, they'll talk about products they like on it and you click the link and they, re they receive like a small commission if you purchase it. I don't see anything wrong with that, right? Well, in the video, what's happening is he links several products. Terry, right? like the Laneige one is, this is more of like a toner moisturizer situation. This is more of like a, gonna give you a glow to really radiate your skin in the way of it being less skin carry. This to me feels like more of like a makeup spray. Like I would use this in like my makeup world like as using it to like before I put makeup on, after okay. I put makeup on to give me a glow. It's a lot of that. It's a lot of like in the, and, and, and like, I don't, and maybe, and like, maybe you could, and I don't know, like, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much his video. Does a lot of that, okay. I wish he would just talk very clear and concise, but we don't get that, okay. So in the video description, this is where the drama goes down. Let me show you what he says. Hey y'all, who's ready for a holiday gift guide? <laughs> okay, revolving some of my absolute faves from Amazon and their Black Friday deals are here. Does he have, does, is Lunar Beauty sold on Amazon? Like, honestly, I honest, if I was Manny, I would have, in that video, I would have been like, oh, by the way, it's on Amazon, or, or by the way, it's not on Amazon, but shameless plug, Lunar Beauty, blah, 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 pick it up. I stand by, he, but we didn't get that in this one. Okay, he said, it's his absolute faves from Amazon. Their Black Friday deals are here and if there were any time to shop some favorite from Amazon, this is the time. I know I'll be going in this week, so here are a few of my faves for the holiday sales. P.S. Thank you, uh, Pipiria, for partnering with me on today's video and making some bomb products. Check them out for yourself. Shop below Pipiria up to 50% off Amazon from, uh, okay, whatever happened to hashtag ad. A lot of influencers are getting away with this uh, such and such partner, you know, like Gothic partner, Candle partner, I don't know, Bucky's partner, or Bussy's partner. <laughs> anyway, like, I just feel like, stop saying such and such partner, like just put on there like hashtag ad, and then something some partner. To me, that's not enough. FTC guidelines states that in the beginning up here, Right away, you guys, the consumer, should automatically see something and know it's an ad. He puts it way at the bottom. And then if you if you look here, these are all the links for all the items. Like, of course, the Preparia ITTV and then Preparia IG, whatever, whatever, blah, 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 bomb, bomb. The, the video, to me, it seemed like, ugh, okay, I've got to do this, so let me just put them first, and I'll just put a bunch of random things in there that I allegedly like. That's my idea of it. Then at the bottom here, it says, check out Full Coverage Podcast, text me, uh, Lunar Beauty website, and then here we go. We get these little asterisks, and then it says, affiliates. I seriously appreciate it so much when you guys use my codes and links means so much to me guys. Thank you for always supporting me. And then uh, he lists his codes, Ofra, Artist Couture, Lily Lashes. And then he talks about, you know, disclaimer, all his opinions are his own. I'll always state when the video is sponsored. I've partnered with the brand. I do earn small commission when my code is used and links. See you in my next video. The thing is, is he is not putting it in the correct space. We are at a point in time now that we the consumers know more than ever. When you walk into a store, you already most likely did your research about the product, you already watched a video review about a product, you read some information about it. So we're at a point now when someone gets on camera and they're like, hey, yeah, sponsored the house. And they're doing all this and they don't say sponsored or not sponsored, especially they say such and such, I, 
partnered up with, like, no. Say, this video is sponsored by, and that's not enough. You need to put it the very top, at the top. When you click that description, it should say, sponsored by, hashtag ad, such and such partner, People need to know. This has gone on too far because there are, there are now videos being made about the FTC now cracking down on influencers who are not doing this and they could be fined up to $50,000 each. Letters have been sent out. So let me show you uh, this clip of someone that put on TikTok. Uh, they were promoting, somebody was promoting this stuff called Bloom. And of course, I, to me it's like one of those flat tummy tea shakes, whatever, but a lot of people who did that got the letter, but the FTC is looking deeper into it. And I think that people like Jacqueline Hill, Manny Amue, Laura Lee, because they're so prominent and they do it so much, might be next. So here we go, roll it. I've seen a lot of comments on my videos about the improperly disclosed Bloom Nutrition ads everywhere, asking why is it such a big deal? Why should we care if a creator we like is getting paid? This is why. If you are notified by the FTC that you are being unlawful in your ad disclosures and then you continue to do so look at this number <laughs> look at this number and guess who's going to get the ftc violation it's not bloom it is the person who's posting the video there is no way in hell bloom is going to pay all of the fines that all of the influencers promoting their product get unless they've been like specifically telling influencers not to disclose in which case i genuinely have no idea how they have been getting away with that because it is just so blatantly against the law by drawing attention to this we are not trying to drag influencers through the mud this is something that influencers need to be aware of because they are going to get fined and it's not just a small little baby fine this is a lot of money it might not be that much it could only be you know ten thousand dollars like, this isn't just being salty about shady ads and being salty that influencers are getting brand deals. This is a very big problem. If they do not nip this problem in the bud, there are going to be, like, dire consequences. That being said, if you are curious about what to look out for to make sure that an ad is properly disclosed, or you are a content creator yourself and you want to make sure that you are disclosing your ads properly, ftc.gov slash influencers. They have a lot of helpful information and a really easy to read infographic. I highly encourage you to check it out so that you can do your due diligence, stay on your guard, and be aware of the content that you're consuming. Remember that video I made about how influencers who promote Bloom do not disclose that they're promoting Bloom in their videos? And the most that they will do to disclose that it's an ad is just say Bloom Partner as a hashtag? FTC has sent out a bunch of letters to influencers who have not been disclosing their ad. And the FTC said that it is not enough to just put hashtag whatever partner in the caption of your video along with the product being shown in the video. You have to audibly and visually disclose in the video that that product is being advertised. It is not even enough to put the paid partnership label at the bottom of your video. People lean on that. That is not enough. And I'm really glad that the FTC is starting to crack down on this because I am so tired of seeing influencers promote products and not disclose that they are promoting the product. But then if I call them out for not being honest about the fact that they're promoting a product, everybody will say, well, they disclosed in the caption. Like, they did all they had to do. No, they did not. They absolutely did not. Okay, there you go. I don't think there's anything wrong with beauty YouTubers or TikTokers saying that they like something and they're trying to get a commission off of it. Especially like right now, you'll see down below, I might put something up for sale, like the lipstick I might like, or like the makeup I'm using will be on there, or lashes or whatever. It'll all be on there so you guys can shop it through the YouTube shop. The YouTube shop takes care of all of that. It's not sponsored, it is an affiliate link. And there's, so there's differences, there's sponsorships. And when someone's paying you to say that you like it or give you a review of something. And then there's affiliate links, which if you click on it and you say that you like it, you get like a commission from it. So there's, those are two different ways. In this situation, it seemed like Manny MUA got sponsored to promote this brand on Amazon. And he's also collecting commission on it as well. So I don't know, I find the thing to be very interesting. So let me know what you think about all that in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Rich Labs with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. Bye.